we've actually asked electrician Michelle Bray to come down. And Michelle, you've been here for a little while, poking yep. around. What have you found? What I have found is there's a feed from the panel that runs up to the switch box right inside this wall, leaves the switch box, travels up through the wall, over to the attic, mm. into that light fixture right there. Yeah, so we've got power outside. We do. All right, but we need to get from that fixture over to where we want this fixture to be. We do. How do we do that? We'll have to go into the attic, set a box, run a wire across, run down into the stud wall, which is right behind this brick veneer wall, yep. then penetrate the brick, set a box, and put the light in. All right, so I heard attic. I presume to get started, we're... Going to that attic. All right, let's go to the attic. I have already cut off the power Good. to this circuit and the panel in the basement. And so what do we got in here? What we have is, this is the switch right here from downstairs. So that's power. That's power, it comes up. It goes to this right here, which is the old splice for the light that was above head. Mm -hmm. And then it runs over to the light we looked at downstairs. Okay. Okay. We're going to tap into these wires to create a new sconce feed, but what we're going to need to do is set a junction box because these splices should be always in a junction box per code. All right. So you got yourself a junction box up here already. There's a hammer. All right. Thank you. All right. We're going to lace the new wire in right here underneath the old one. The wires have to lay flat under the staple. Now I'm going to splice these wires together. Thank you. We're going to splice these together color to color. So ground to ground right here. Correct. White to white, black to black. I'm going to splice these grounds together with wire nuts. And we do the same thing with the hots. And now we're going to take this new wire that's connected to the switch and we have to get it down the wall to our new sconce location. Mm -hmm. We measured, and it's down below, and it's about eight inches away from the switch leg. So we're going to drill two holes right over here in this stud bay. The second hole is so we can set a flashlight on top of the wall and make sure there's no obstructions in the wall that will block our feed. Oh, clever. The cavity's clear with no obstructions. That's good. So we're going to drop the Romex in the hole now. Okay, now we're going to staple this wire in place. Now we're going to fire caulk the holes. So Aaron. Yes. We have finished in the attic. Great. We've got the wire fished down the wall. Okay. Your sconce is 14 inches tall, so we're going to mount it somewhere up in here. Okay. I recommend we center it off the mailbox. I think that'd look great. And then, so I'm going to mark for the box right here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to drill a series of holes about a half inch apart around the perimeter of the electrical box. All right, what I've got is a two pound hammer and a cold chisel, and hopefully it'll break right on the holes that we drilled. All right, it looks good. Okay, there's some sheathing back here, so I'm going to take the same drill with a hole saw and cut through it. Hey, there's our wire. Great. All right, let's set a box, huh? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, we're ready for the light. I wrapped the ground wire from the wall around the ground screw, and now I'm attaching it to the ground wire from the light. You guys chose a pretty nice looking sconce. Well, we tried to pick something that would go with the Craftsman theme. I think we did pretty good. I think you nailed it. Hey, Michelle, we got power? We do have power. All right, All right. it up. Let's I see how we closed. look. All right. Hey. Fantastic. Like